Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, and I've been an avid tent camper now for 55 years. We're camped in Florida this beautiful May weekend, and I thought I would try cooking with charcoal again. I have tried it a few times, but was not able to get enough heat for a long enough period of time. But I think I've got the process down now, and so we're cooking bacon and eggs and biscuits. Let me show you how we did it. In addition to our food, we're going to need several items of gear. First of all, I've got a Camp Chef Dutch oven table just because I don't like stooping down on the ground. But if you're young and agile, you may not need this table. <clears throat> Second, is I've got two one gallon galvanized steel pans uh, that you can buy in any farm supply store for less than ten dollars. Now our pans are about 12 inches in diameter because both our Dutch oven and our skillet are 10 inches in diameter and they just fit perfectly inside those pans. If you have a larger Dutch oven or a larger skillet you may have to buy a larger pan. Next, we've got some trivets, and I've got two kinds of trivets here. The first one is a horseshoe welded trivet that I bought from Cowboy Kent Rollins. Now, the legs, the short legs on this trivet were still a little high for me because I wanted my trivet level down to about three inches above the ground. And so I went to the hardware store and bought three bolts, two and a half inch bolts to fit it. In addition, I've got two lodge folding lid stands which can also be used as trivets. I've got a pair of pliers for lifting my lid. We'll also need a pair of leather gloves to protect our hands when working around the hot charcoal. And we'll also need a pair of tongs for moving charcoal briquettes under the pots and the Dutch oven. We'll be cooking the bacon and eggs in this number seven nickel plated Griswold skillet that is about 10 inches in diameter and we'll be cooking the biscuits in this flat bottom with no legs number eight Wagner Dutch oven that is about 10 inches in diameter it also has a flat camp oven lid made by Lodge the first thing that I did was to put some aluminum foil down in the bottom of the pans to reflect more of the heat up toward the pot and to protect the bottom a little bit from the, from the heat of the charcoal. We'll be cooking our bacon and eggs on that left pan and we'll need a lot of coals down there and replace them after about 15 minutes in order to maintain the heat that we need to cook the bacon and the eggs. And we'll be cooking the biscuits on the right pan. We'll only put eight briquettes down on the bottom and then we'll put about 15 briquettes on the top so that it can bake at around 375 degrees. Okay, we got the biscuits in the Dutch oven. We got the bacon frying in the frying pan. We'll cook some eggs in the frying pan as soon as that bacon is done. And I've got a new batch of coals that are getting ready to replace the coals that we currently are using. After 15 minutes I checked the biscuits and it looked like they needed to cook just a little bit longer so I cooked them another three minutes. Here they are after 18 minutes cooked to perfection. After they finished, Ava got the biscuits out of the Dutch oven and buttered them up really good and covered them with a towel until the rest of our food was cooked. Meanwhile, our bacon has been cooking in the other pan. And I would say it was cooked to perfection also. After the bacon finished cooking, we sauteed some onions and bell peppers. And after they sauteed for a few minutes, we poured in the scrambled eggs. 
Here is our finished breakfast, ready to be eaten. When you mix eggs with salt, onion, bell pepper, and it is, and jalapeno, it is a delicious breakfast. Enjoy. Later in the week, we baked cinnamon rolls for breakfast. They were also very good. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this little video, and I hope that it's given you a few ideas about how you can cook some meals with charcoal whenever you want to. Thanks for watching. For more information about camp cooking and other topics related to family tent camping, please visit my website, moderntentcamping.com. A link is provided in the description below. Take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and spend less money. Go tent camping.